Hello all, welcome to part 45 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use this publish attribute for generating Cucumber reports on the cloud that is internet. So let's get started. Till now, we have generated the Cucumber reports in our local projects. Okay, if you go to the Eclipse ID, under the target folder, we have generated this Cucumber reports in different formats like HTML, JSON, and XML because in the runner class, we mentioned these plugins related to HTML Cucumber report plugin, JSON Cucumber report plugin, we have mentioned, J XML uh, Cucumber report plugin, we have mentioned. Okay, because of these plugins, these Cucumber reports in different formats like HTML, JSON, and H XML got generated under the target folder in your local project. But what if I have to? generate this HTML Cucumber report on the cloud. That is cloud means internet. So internet means at this website URL, okay? So at this website, the Cucumber HTML report should be uploaded here, guys, okay? It should be available on the internet so that, you see, what's the what's the use, what's the advantage of generating your H Cucumber HTML report on the cloud here at this URL thing, okay? The advantage here is, for sharing this uh, reports which got generated in your local project, you have to again put an email to your uh, other people in your team, right? You have to send email to the required people in your team, okay? Who are working in your project or whatever it is, okay? Your seniors or managers, can be your colleagues, whoever it is, who are to which uh, this report has to be shared. You have to copy these files and uh, put them as an attachment in your email and send it. That's the way of sharing, right? But what if I want to, uh, share a URL, okay? Share a URL to the team so that they can access it on the cloud. On the internet, they can access. I don't have to manually copy them and put into email, attach them and send it. Rather, it should be available on the URL. For that, what we have to do, I'm going to practically demonstrate in this session, guys. We are going to use some of this publish attribute. One of the way, guys, I'm going to show you. We're going to use this publish attribute for doing so. So first of all, I'll, I'll go very from very scratch, guys. You see, so I'll clean this uh, target folder. First of all, I'll clean this target folder and show you how the reports are generated under the target folder. This I already covered in the previous session, but I'll repeat. I'll say right click run as a uh, maven clean and it will build the cleaning process and uh, all these things from the target folder will be automatically deleted. You see, target folder got cleaned. Just refresh this project. Uh, after refreshing, if you try to expand this target, you see there's nothing under the target. Now, again, if I run this, right click run as, uh, again, before running this, I have to update this project, right? Otherwise, you'll get uh, no such uh, class exception. So to avoid that, we'll say Maven and update project and say, okay, the project will be updated using Maven. That's the second step. Before running, we have to do that. After cleaning, we have to update the project and run that project, okay? Run that run the class. Now, right click freshly run this test and this reports will be generated freshly, guys, under the target now, okay? You see, they got generated, guys. Just refresh here. Just uh, refresh here and uh, under target folder again, they got generated. But here in the output console, Eclipse output console in the bottom, you okay, in the bottom, in the Eclipse output console, here we got a very big box saying that share your Cucumber report with your team at this one, okay, at this URL, okay. You can generate or publish your Cucumber report at this particular URL location and thereafter you can share that URL. You don't have to go to these folders and copy paste the Cucumber reports to your uh, team or uh, the project members, okay? So what we can do so that we can publish our Cucumber report instead of our local, okay? Along with that local, if you want to publish your Cucumber report on this cloud uh, internet URL, cloud internet URL like this, for that, you can follow any of these things. The easiest way is this uh, publish is equal to true, guys. Already we have this at the rate Cucumber options in our runner class. In that, we have to give this attribute as publish is equal to true. Okay, let's give that, okay? So let's give publish is equal to true. Uh, by default, publish is equal to false is equal to not mentioning that publish. Okay, publish is equal to true means now as mentioned here, okay, in the Cucumber options, if you mention publish is equal to true, your Cucumber HTML report will also be, apart from the local, will also be reported to this URL. Okay, at this URL, you can access. I'll show you practically, guys. Okay. So right click, run as jnit test this time again i'll run this other time this time the reports will not only be available under the target folder but also will be published to the cloud okay at that particular uh, url you see this time you are getting a different box after running the test 
uh, view your cucumber report at this URL. Okay, just copy it properly, guys. Okay, so uh, uh, till wherever it is required, and say, simply say copy and uh, go to the browser and select new tab and press enter and make sure that you are not getting any symbols before HTTPS. You should not get any invalid symbols. And here the URL is, uh, if you see this URL here, guys, okay, here in the output console, URL is ending with 44, but here in the, when I pasted it after 44, some uh, unwanted text came, symbols came, remove that text guys. Okay. So sometimes when you copy paste this URL, right, mostly it will happen that from Eclipse ID, when you copy paste, you'll get some symbols, guys, before HTTPS or after this URL and you'll get some symbols. Better to remove them and press enter, okay? Now the report is loading. The report which is uh, available at uh, reports.cucumber.io is now available, okay? This, you see it's got published to the cloud, guys, okay? But this report will self-destruct in a day, guys. In 24 hours, it will be gone. It's not permanent uploading here, just it will be there. Okay, you can share this link and this link will be active. This report link at this URL will be active, okay, for 24 hours once it is generated, okay? If you want to immediately delete, you can delete from here also, okay? Immediately, if you instantly, if you want to delete, you can delete, but this is the report, guys, which will be there, published on this cloud for 24 hours, okay? Uh, that is for a day and after that it will get deleted automatically or if you want to manually delete this report once the task is done you can click on the delete report it will be deleted from the cloud and it will be still there in your local machines okay from here under the target folder you still have these reports so guys this is how by using this public attribute publish attribute sorry publish attribute in cucumber options by mentioning it as true the value is true we can publish our cucumber html report onto the cloud url okay on the internet and can share that URL with any project members, okay? So, hope guys you understood how to use publish attribute for generating Cucumba reports on the cloud, that is internet, in this session. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.